28th of June, 2022. A remarkable time to be alive. I'm Dana Durnford. I'm your host. The Bearer of Bad News. Uh, what you've seen over there is a depiction of 14 prefectures in Japan that uh, 55 countries had banned the food for over a decade because of radioactive fallout from multiple nuclear meltdowns. The, the reactors that melted down in Japan were the biggest reactors to ever melt down in history. In fact, each of the reactors uh, tonnage was probably more tonnage than uh, Three Mile Island, uh, Chernobyl, and Santa Susana combined. Each reactor, multiple reactors melted down in Japan. In the first year, 2012, uh, 865 excess cancers were being treated. Not everybody has uh, insurance, and you need insurance when it comes to cancer. Very expensive to be murdered by the uh, nuclear industry. Uh, but there's 1,800 other illnesses and diseases that will typically manifest before cancer. Cancer is usually latent. And what's particularly scary about this story is Japan has been known to grow food right alongside of thousands of tons of nuclear waste on top of that and ship it to market. And, it, and so it doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't seem possible. It doesn't seem real. But if you actually look at the nuclear industry, this is the norm. They're absolutely out of control. And uh, you better get it together and start holding them accountable while you can. Britain to lift import restrictions. This is today's story. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. But I rem you know, a couple of months ago, they were talking about it. And the United Kingdom had already lifted controls on a wide range of products, including baby food, several years ago. Also, seven before Prime Minister or, um, Boris Johnson was not elected but appointed to be the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom because he proved to be a useful idiot. And with a handshake now, he has set the stage for everybody to be poisoned uh, extraordinaire. This is Boris Johnson drinking peach juice from Fukushima. Why is that a headline? Because it's from Fukushima, uh, which is in the middle of a nuclear wasteland. So you got to go back a little bit and look at England. Uh, they had a nuclear meltdown of a mixed oxide fuel facility at Sellafield. It was called Windscale back in those days. They changed the name because of the crimes. Instead of getting nuclear employees to help or other nuclear power plant workers to help, or nuclear colleges or universities or academics or nuclear corporations to help with the meltdown, they actually went out and kidnapped people on the streets and in the theaters and took them to the meltdown because nuclear scientists, nuclear students, nuclear universities wouldn't go near cellar fields. Killer hot particles, a Sellafield coast like a Chernobyl and Fukushima exclusion zone by scumbag Chris Busby. A British government deeply involved in blatant conspiracy. This is after Fukushima. To manipulate the truth, a deeply involved a very effective attempt to calm the reporting of the true story of Fukushima. One of those was a Geraldine Thomas, an absolute, probably one of the worst war criminals in human history. 
So, for example, coming here, I would have got a dose of 0.07 millis. I'm sorry, she flew to Japan to tell them that everything is harmless, like a banana or flying on an airplane. It's on the flight. Uh, and I actually went round Fukushima Daiichi on Wednesday, and the dose that I had going round the site, so very close to where the reactors are, it was 0.01, and probably lower, but that's the lowest it could actually read. So I got more of a dose flying here, and we'll get a dose tomorrow when I fly home, than I would have done from being in Fukushima. So she's claiming she got a bigger dose on an airplane than she would from being at ground zero of a nuclear meltdown where only the homeless are to. It's pretty hard to imagine there's someone actually evil enough to say that, let alone to have a video of them actually saying it. And for a hobby, she murders children in the United Kingdom with chemotherapy. Uh, so, what was the date on this? This was a couple of months ago. This was a couple of months ago. Hey, what's going on? So she doesn't want to change windows here. Let me f see if I can fix that. Who knows? No. Ow. So I don't know why I'm having so much problem with my colors, but I'm having problem now with other things. Fish and vegetables grown near the Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan can be freely sold in Britain. And after Britain scrapped the Food Safety Agency, scrapped a rule on radioactivity levels in products. So all of a sudden, radioactivity, man-made anthropogenic radiation became harmless, is what they're saying. That contains more than 100 becquels, a threshold, they claim, uh, 11 becquels a kilogram of cesium, just gamma. Children with over 11 becquels a kilogram start to see heart problems. At 50 becquels, it's permanent and lesions on the organs and of adults too. So several years ago, they lifted restrictions on baby food from a nuclear wasteland. The, the nuclear industry in the United Kingdom did. Let me repeat that. Maybe I didn't say it loud enough. A couple of years ago, the nuclear industry told the government to lift all restrictions on baby food from a nuclear wasteland. Just the fact you're growing baby food in a nuclear wasteland should terrify uh, anybody with any attributes of a human whatsoever. Or does it? It blows me away anyway. How can you lift restrictions on baby food from a nuclear wasteland? And how can you actually grow food in a nuclear wasteland? How, how do you become daddy evil that that becomes an option? How, but it's not, it's not a crime, right? The government doesn't have the authority to make it a crime. I know that sounds crazy, but they don't have the authority to make it a crime to poison you with radiation. Only the Nuclear Regulatory Agency has that, is allowed to do that. So you don't actually have a government, do you? You definitely don't have a university you can turn to, or a media. That must be reassuring for everybody. They're terrified of your voice. The most, the biggest weapon on the planet is your voice. And if you look at how many people got on my show after a decade, 15 viewers. Should the United Kingdom keep a ban on radioactive food from Fukushima nuclear wasteland for a million years? Because that's, that's about right, a million years. Because it's a nuclear wasteland. 15 viewers and 11 likes. No, no censorship. 
UK decision on support for Sizewell nuclear plant. So the problem with this is the nuclear industry is actually lunatic. So the Sizewell C is what they're referring to. They're a new nuclear power plant they're building in the United Kingdom. Should I show you that picture that I can't put up on the full big screen for some reason? I gotta find another way to do it, I suppose. Bear with me. Bear with me. See if we got anything here. And we'll use this one. We'll use that one. Let me zoom in. Um, I'll put that in the full screen so that way I can flick back and forth. I'll have the little issue that I got now sorted out by then. My apologies. But at least now I can go to full screen that way, right? Yeah, it's better than nothing. Get with the program, Dana. Right there. That looks pretty good to me. Okay. So... If you actually look at Sizewell plan, it's surrounded by farms. It's completely surrounded by farms. Um... And so what happens is all nuclear power plants are hemorrhaging radiation into the environment. All of them. Okay, so we go back, uh, the nuclear option, Boris Johnson, this was a couple of months ago, tucks in the popcorn from Fukushima with the Japanese genocidal maniac. As a ban is lifted on radioactive fish and vegetables near the disaster, dis instead of saying near the multiple nuclear reactor meltdowns, at, without Pacific import controls, the emphasis would, the emphasis would fall on food businesses to check the food for radiation. So they lifted all restrictions, so unless the people that are buying the food check it, then you'll, you'll have no protection. And this is the picture from the day. This is the picture from today. At the G7 meeting. So, with the shake of a hand, everybody in Britain now gets poisoned by food from a nuclear wasteland. Is that reassuring for anybody? Does that make you all warm and fuzzy inside? So the grown food in a place that is absurd amount of radiation to most of the country, not just Fukushima Prefecture. Um, current puppet Boris uh, Johnson said Tuesday during his meeting with Japan's Prime Minister, another puppet, said that they're going to import food from a nuclear wasteland. I'm delighted that tomorrow, finally, we, will able, we are able to have Fukushima products all over shops in the United Kingdoms. Tomorrow. So... They lifted the ban, now the food has arrived, basically is what they're saying. And tomorrow is the start of the genocide in your supermarkets and restaurants. A 
Like, that's crazy that somebody with a zero moral compass has the power to poison you, your friends, your families, your loved ones, all day, every day, through bioaccumulation. So it's safe to say the nuclear industry now is attempting to exterminate you f at your food sources. It's about time you should be rising up and fighting back. It's now or never. You have the clock has ran out. Um, they're moving in for the kill. Farm products, including mushrooms from a nuclear wasteland known as Fukushima and Miyagi, of course, and seven other prefectures that have been subject to Britain's import restrictions. Uh, with these items needing proof of having passed a check by monsters, according to the Japanese government. They picked up 30 to 60 million, 1 million ton bags. We're not have gone open with it. Certificates were also required from products harvested or processed in Yamagata, Ibaragi, Guma, which is right by Tokyo. It's about 20 kilometers from Tokyo. 200 kilometers from multiple nuclear meltdowns. Yamanashi, Nagano, and Shizurakura Prefecture. So you can't go back to the shops, uh, but you can eat the food from the farms all around it according to the crazy, lunatic, disgusting nuclear industry in the United Kingdom. That's, that's an attack upon everybody in the United Kingdom, including the people that are censoring me. You have to be, like, what, why are you so dark? Why are you so evil? Why are you so sadistic? You, to get paid a paycheck every Friday, the, the lone voice that's trying to have a conversation is stomped out. That's your job. Because you're stupid, that's why you got the job, see? Kashida expressed his appreciation for the British decision. The British didn't decide it. Nuclear industry did. Whoever wrote that story should be getting punched in the head every day for the rest of their life. Uh, like when a country is picking up bags like this in 150,000 places and still growing food and shipping it worldwide. It's time to stop worrying about politics, stop worrying about the distractions from the idiot machine, and get busy and do something productive. You're running out of time. You better you gotta fight back. You, you gotta get educated and you got and you gotta you gotta stop being nice. The British government has promised to remove the restrictions by the end of June. And it's the end of June. Uh, they pick up the bags in a lot of these farmlands so they can grow food there. The idea of picking up the bags is to trick you into thinking that everything is everything is hunky dory. Yeah, these people are pure evil. That's right, Colette. Hi, Colette. So somebody said no, they shouldn't keep a band. Hey, leave mommy's computer alone before her boyfriend catches you and kicks your ass. Whoever voted no is obviously a child or a child like countries and regions like China, Russia, South Korea, Indonesia, Taiwan, and many other, by the way, still impose import restrictions, according to the degenerate scum Japanese nuclear government. So this is two uh, new nuclear disease factories you're going to build in the United Kingdom. You also know them as uh, nuclear power plants. The left is Hinkley Point, and to the right is Sizeville Sea. So what do these two have in common? Excluding by the ocean, excluding that they're brand new 
Excluding that it's a sunny day. I can't figure it out. Could it be they're surrounded by farms? And what happens is the farms suck up all the food and you get sick and die. And everything works out just like the nuclear industry planned. Is that reassuring? Uh, this is Hinkley Point cluster. Uh, they got every precious metal they can get on the planet. That'll be bombarded with neutrons eventually and made rendered useless for a million years. It's surrounded by farms, as far as you can see. Uh, 8,000 people a day driving their trucks, cars, and everything there. Um, this is just a fraction of the site, by the way. But to be surrounded by farms, to build these places where you're surrounded by farms, uh, this is uh, an agenda. This is uh, extermination. And that the child's risk of cancer from radiation is 10 to 100 times higher than an adult with the same exposure. So you got to, basically, you got to go out and beat all these farmers up by telling them the truth, of course. Go ahead and tell them you can't grow grown food by a nuclear disease factory known as nuclear power plant. You're going to murder everybody. That's an incredible picture. Two different nuclear power plants that are building both of them surrounded by farms. That's just like... Now, the problem is, like, when it comes to children, the 2019 study showed congenital heart disease operations, open-heart surgery for neonates and infants, rose 14% after Fukushima. 14.2% per 100,000 children. That's over 14,000 children for every 100,000 need open heart surgery. That's an extraordinary uh, number, by the way. Because Japan is incredibly contaminated. The water reclamation centers, the sewage, the garbage facilities... The drinking water, everything is contaminated across the entire country. Half of it's brutal. Half of it should be evacuated permanently. So there's 1,800 illnesses. One of them is obesity. Rates had doubled in Japan. Um, excessive weight gain after a nuclear accident is a marker of radiation brain damage. So obesity, you can see now, will just skyrocket in the United Kingdom like it did in Canada because um, Canada lifted all restrictions after 19, 93 days. And the crazy thing about this is United Kingdom media rarely reports on it or, or Canadian media. It's typically the Japanese media will come out and brag and, and pneumonia cases surge. Let me show you some evidence of how crazy this industry actually is. We got a poll, by the way. Uh, 21 votes, which is extraordinary small number. 18 people is an extraordinary small number, by the way. 17 likes at this point of the video is an extraordinary small number. And we got 22 votes. Should UK keep the ban on radioactive food from a Fukushima nuclear wasteland for a million years? The idea of framing a narrative that way is to make you realize that the food is never safe, right? It's simply never going to be safe. It's not going to be safe in 11 years. It's not going to be safe in 11 million years. Soil from Fukushima radiation decontamination work to be reused in the farmlands. And so uh, you already seen some of these bags. But uh, when he says it's going to be reused in the farmland, they're not kidding. The, the industry is absolutely 
nothing but a bunch of murderers. Imagine how, what kind of low life you got to be to actually get a full-time job at the nuclear industry. EU to lift import curbs on rice from a nuclear wasteland, uh, which they finally did in September last year. Idiot, which is a great name now for that place, unfortunately. A farmland development project tested the reusability of soil generated from radiation decontamination work after the nuclear meltdown. So they're taking all these bags full of radiation, cutting them open, and growing food, and it's carried out by the Environment Ministry in a radioactive, difficult-to-return zone. Try making that up on your own. Oh, try making this one up on your own. Harvesting food in a nuclear wasteland and right alongside a nuclear waste. It's not a crime. Leaked email shows the British government worked with nuclear companies on a public relation campaign to downplay the Fukushima and that the degrees of collusion were truly shocking. And because nobody held them accountable, now they're murdering you in your supermarkets in your own country. Right? Because they got away with that, and so... They, there's no incentive not to be evil. EDF, uh, Riva, and Westinghouse, multinational companies, uh, funded the uh, government of Britain disinformation campaigns to sustain. A British official told Riva, which went bankrupt, of course, on purpose, which was... Uh, French government fuel fabrication facility. They actually went bankrupt so they wouldn't have an obligation for a million years to deal with the waste. And we need to quash, and he started another company right away, Orano. We need to quash any stories trying to compare this to Chernobyl. We need to quash any story trying to compare this to Chernobyl. Now, Fukushima was infinitely worse than Chernobyl, unfortunately. Chernobyl was brutal, but, uh, you know, they closed 9,000 farms in Ireland and in Scotland and the United Kingdom because of Chernobyl. This is Reactor 3. This makes Chernobyl Reactor look like, like a small nuclear accident. It's not, right? It's a brutal nuclear accident in Chernobyl. It's just a terrible... But, like, in comparison, it, it doesn't really compare to what f number three reactor was a mixed oxide fuel reactor. And those depictions at the top are fuel pools. Chernobyl didn't have that. Chernobyl was a new reactor. And this one is 40 years old with decades of reactor cores. And each reactor core is almost four times the size of Chernobyl. And it's pure uranium, pure plutonium. In the case of Reactor 3 there, this was uh, known as a mixed oxide fuel, just a billion times worse than a typical meltdown like Reactor 4. And these are extraordinary events, by the way. So that's two reactors I just showed you. There's four reactors and f eight fuel pools. There's two fuel pools in each building. We can guarantee are gone. Uh, last year, there were 736 pictures released on the anniversary, on the 10th anniversary, from a drone, from the original footage. Uh, barely anybody acknowledged it. I downloaded every single picture, of course, and I started zooming in on these pictures from a drone, very high quality on top of that, and all the reactors were redacted. But also the common spin fuel pool was redacted and showed incredible damage uh, around it despite the redaction. And reactor 6 and the pump house and the skinny stack that pumps radiation out was also pixelated out. And then the dry storage 
we were able to see the dry storage was severely damaged. And we don't know how much of that got washed out to sea. And then the incinerator, uh, they actually have incinerators on these nuclear sites. And they're legally allowed to incinerate certain amounts of radiation because there's no checks and balances. The IAEA is not a checks and balances. It's control opposition designed to displace real people like myself. The wind scale fire of Britain's Chernobyl was covered up for decades. It's still hemorrhaging 8, millions of li 8 million liters a day into the Atlantic Ocean. 50 years later. It's, it's, a, it's heartbreaking how much damage this industry has done. But the British in particular spent decades taking nuclear high-level nuclear waste out and dumping it randomly all over the Atlantic Ocean and prime fishing grounds on top of that. But the only way to describe the British government is stupid, really. These are stupid, incredibly stupid people, incredible gullible people that... Um, and this is an incredible amount of inbreeding, unfortunately. And they, the terrifying 1957 incident of wind-scale nuclear plant spewed radioactive dust into the surrounding Crumbian countryside and was subsequently hushed up by a paranoid authority. Paranoid! No, just evil is a better way. The fire at wind-scale, now Sellafield, resulted in a major rethink of nuclear power. So what you're looking at was, this was people they kidnapped from the theaters. I put together um, a depiction from a documentary talking about how they went into theaters and stole people from the back rows. In the 50s, only the poor people sat in the back rows, of course. The police uh, from the factory had turned up looking for volunteers. Uh, and they brought a bus and they decided the best way to get the volunteers was to go to the cinema and, uh, and volunteer the back two rows uh, at, the, uh, at the show to go into the factory to, uh, as it turned out, to uh, help push the fuel rods out of the, uh, out of the reactor. So they didn't go get nuclear academics, nuclear scientists, you know, the big shot nuclear mouthpieces, they went and got victims of society instead of other nuclear power plant employees or the military. Or the police done this, by the way, with guns. And so, because you don't hold them accountable, now you've reached the stage where they're just going to poison you in your supermarkets from the worst of the worst places in human history. I'm here to fight for you, if you'll let me, if you'll join me, I should say. And so when you quote iodine-131, the people that do that, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, should get the shit kicked out of them. And other harmful radioactive particles, other harmful. The, the biggest byproduct of a nuclear meltdown is curium isotopes. You need lead shielding. 20 times thicker than you do for plutonium, for goodness sakes. Contaminated the farms and the surrounding countryside. They never stopped growing the food. The cow milk was taken from a 500-kilometer area next to Sellafield. It was diluted. They, you can't dilute it. You can just spread it. And dumped into the Irish Sea. Leaving it partially... What do you mean partially contaminated? Here's an interesting one. Uh, in Fukushima, children are being taught to laugh because they live in a nuclear wasteland for so long they forgot how to laugh. I don't think Tokyo is safe. Air samples in Tokyo are 270 times more contaminated with gamma 
So let's forget about alpha, neutrons, and betas because apparently that don't matter. The global weapons follow peak, which meant you're supposed to abandon Tokyo. Like you abandoned many, many, many communities in Fukushima Prefecture. So the radioactive plumes hit North America. The radioactive plumes hit North America. Uh, this was one plume at 20 million particles of iodine-131. Uh, another study showed 220 million atoms per liter of iodine-129. So in the same liter, you also had 20 million particles of 131 and 220, which meant that uh, insects and animals and humans and birds and creatures. Uh, uh, thyroid glands were saturated with man-made anthropogenic deadly radiation. And that's converted, a lot of that's converted into radioactive hormones guaranteed you won't have a normal or healthy life. But for the insects, it sterilizes them and they disappear in increments over a decade or two. You wonder where all the insects are gone? They look no further. Look no further than nuclear wasteland. Um, let me explain it to you, too. So the radioactive death fallout there didn't include... This model is of Xenon-133. So you have a plume of a 131 iodine, nasty, and a nasty plume of iodine-129, and they would have looked like this. They're all in the same plume, right? This model was based on the Xenon-133. This uh, is an extinction-level event, and it makes it very difficult to get anything safe to eat. Uh, and it's not acceptable. It's not... I'm not going to sit in silence, and I'm not... I'm not... I'm not going to um, be nice about it either. 1,500 atoms of the radioactive sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs per cubic meter in the California air. So you had the xenon, the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs, the iodine-131 at 20 million per liter, 220 million atoms per liter of the iodine-129 with a 15 million half-life. Apparently, according to uh, some people, there's 20 half-lives. This is not normal, okay? Walking past hundreds of one-ton bags of radiation, that's not normal. And just because it happened doesn't give the industry a right now to continue to poison everybody worldwide. It's it's time to fight back. You, we This is Earth's last stand. You, you have an obligation. You're obligated under your Bill of Rights, your Constitution, your Magna Carters, to fight back. You're, you're obligated. Laying down and dying is not a good option. Sellafield safety shocker. Nuclear waste abandoned 40 years ago. Did all the nuclear universities and all the nuclear goblins couldn't put it back together again. Plutonium from Sellafield and all children's teeth because of the nuclear meltdown they covered up. So people who lived close by or ate the food, because this is Sellafield, and this was also, they had glove boxes for hot fuel here, and they also done um, mixed oxide fuel here for decades and decades. They also had a uh, mixed oxide fuel reactor meltdown which is permanent. Nuclear meltdowns are forever. 
So when you see nuclear power plants surrounded by farms, that's the, that's, you don't need anything else to tell you how evil it is. So Sellafield had a nuclear meltdown, but he didn't stop farming food, just like Japan. Just like uh, the Susquehanna River, Three Mile Island. It's, at what point are we going to speak up about this? At what point should we say this is wrong? This is pictures of Sellafield surrounded by farms, a nuclear meltdown, and a, re and a nuclear fuel reprocessing and a storage area. Everything is vented, surrounded by farms. Is is a genocide machine. This is a, un this is why I call this disease factories, because the food is being shipped out all the time. This is unequivocally crimes against. Uh, the earth. These are permanent crimes against earth. And it's not just iodine, there's over a thousand fission products you got to worry about. And so they checked um, 800 million pounds a year, didn't find anything that exceeded their version of a standard. But you can't check food like this accurately in the 50 pound bags. You simply can't do it that way and quantify it. Not only that, they're burning ground-up radioactive materials all over Japan, reliberating it back into the environment. And these are dirty bombs. This is the absurdness of evil. It's the absurdness of stupid, too. Radioactive xenon-133 in Washington, 450,000 times above detection levels, persisted for weeks. So, I showed you the actual studies. Again, these are studies. Uh, 20 million uh, atoms per liter of rainfall sustained of iodine-131. 220 million atoms of iodine-129 per liter sustained. I showed you the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs, 1,500 per cubic meter sustained in California air. And then the xenon-133 at 450,000 times in these plumes, right? These plumes that we talk about. And like I showed you that plume, but let me remind you, that's a 20-day plume. It doesn't disappear for millions of years. In some cases, uh, 350 million years, like the iodine-129. And so this... this song and dance pony thing to promote food from a nuclear wasteland. This is a mental illness is what these people are suffering from and they should all get an ice pick to the top of their head several times. Fukushima radiation still circling the globe. The levels are consistently rising and falling in 40 day cycles. You can't check your food like that and quantify that as, first off, it's pretty hard to find anything that's not contaminated by Fukushima and all the releases from the fuel pools worldwide. Inhaling just one radioactive heart particle, a hot particle, can cause a cancer. And this is a problem, too, because a lot of them only acknowledge cancer when there's 1,800 illnesses you got to worry about. There's heart and liver and lung, respiratory, pituitary, thyroid, adrenaline, Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, diabetes, Down syndrome, schizophrenia. That's 18 of 1,800 illnesses. Because your immune system is compromi compromised because your body attacks the radiation with white blood cells for the rest of your life. That depletes your red blood cells carrying oxygen nutrition, right? So your immune system is, is compromised, you're more susceptible to pathogens and viruses that were normally harmless and innocuous and benign. Now are lethal or definitely trouble. And then the bags were only meant to last for a couple of years. Same as the tanks. And the tanks, of course, are empty. They were designed to trick and deceive you and manipulate you into thinking 
that nothing went into the ocean. And they've taken that song and dance to a whole different level in the last couple of years. When radioactive cesium, which is gamma, enters the body, 75% lodges in the muscle tissues, including the hearts. So you see this incredible abnormality of heart attacks, death by heart attacks, as emblematic of radiation poisoning. You're going to see a lot of that now in the United Kingdom. They're going to blame that on the coronavirus, of course, which is the cover story for the 1800 illnesses from Japan. Uh, the effects of plutonium in the lung, a single particle causes a tumor to start to grow. When your planet is covered in radioactive fallout after 20 days, and these bizarre pictures where they're claiming they're decontaminating, which is typically the homeless and the destitute, the victims of society, immigrants don't speak the language. Uh, power washing, you can't decontaminate um, communities by going around power washing. First, one of the big problems, of course, is uh, the radioactive, if we stop all radio emitters on the planet, all the fuel pools, for instance, are, are still splitting the atom into your environment. It's absurd. The whole story is absurd. But you can see there's such a big volume, a continuous plume, because of the China syndromes, the chain reactions. It's continuous plumes covering the entire planet. That model is 16 days. It doesn't include the actual inventories on top of that. This is a... Uh, now, Buddy stood up in front of it, and he's power washing radiation right at his crony there. These suits can't protect you from gamma shines, x-rays, or neutrons. Inhaling just one hot particle can cause a cancer or 1,800 illnesses and diseases. If you're eating food from a nuclear wasteland, it's the same thing. You don't need the... Like, it's going to be impossible not to consume large amounts every day. It's going to bioaccumulate, so eventually you got tens of thousands of man-made atoms in your body being attacked by white blood cells 24 hours a day for the rest of your short lives. It's clear that low-level contamination is more dangerous than a single dose, so bioaccumulation through consumption is, is idiotic. There should be riots in the streets going on. You should be fighting for your your food security. You should be gone to war against the nuclear industry. There should be blood, gore, and guts, dead, burnt bodies everywhere in the streets. You should be gone to war against this coward, this disgusting coward industry, these cowards. The nuclear industry cowards are chicken eggs. If you fart, they'll defecate thinking that you're attacking them. This is the scariest pictures imaginable. Pressure washing houses and then attempting to trick people into living there. New York Times, radiation small doses actually be disproportionately worse. Doses spread out over time might be more dangerous than doses all given given all at once. High radiation levels near Tokyo linked to Fukushima. 29 million becquels a square meter linked to Fukushima. Really? What else could it be? This is just after a single rainfall, for goodness sakes. It's catastrophic for every species. At what point should humanity say this is too much? You're out of control. When, when does that happen? Because it should have happened probably 60 years ago. But it's, it's time to say it now. You're, you're wasting your one opportunity. And if you support me in a way, you're not. I'm not, I'm not talking to my the hardcore followers were censored heavily tonight claiming we only got 23 people on the show is absurd 
It really is. And I, right there's sense for me. The lobbies have taken over Google from any industries, particularly the military, which stands to lose a lot of money if the nuclear gets a black eye, see? And they're used to raping and murdering children and pets, so what's to stop them from censoring me? This, this is maddening to see the victims of society being thrown away, doing stuff like that. The Japanese government agency is funding a project. The Japanese government is funding projects to monitor online info about Fukushima, around-the-clock monitoring, around-the-clock spying on people like me. And really, they don't really have... There's maybe at best a handful of people worldwide, less than five, having a conversation. I'd say it's probably safe to say I'm the most prolific, and my supporters, of course, we're the most prolific, and uh, we bring an absurd amount of documentation to every single presentation. I bring an absurd amount of, like, how, if you're new and you don't get it after watching a program like this, you're literally stupid. No offense, but you're actually incompetent if you can't work it out after watching a whole presentation. Well, you won't make it this far into the presentation if you're incompetent, will you? Uh, I'm not trying to insult anybody. I'm just saying to the nuclear industry that if the nuclear industry is watching this, and some of them are, of course, right? They're censors, and they don't understand they're evil. It's because they're stupid, right? you got to be stupid to censor someone like me. you literally got to be the world's biggest idiot to censor someone like me, to censor a good person like myself. you literally got to be the worst of the worst of humanity's got to offer to censor a person that is trying to do to... Uh, and I'm under... I'm under siege for doing the things I'm doing. I'm under attack constantly. I've been vilified and demonized and smeared and marginalized. But I show up every night at the same time, never early, never late. And I bring an absurd amount of documentation. In desperation, the world will come to its senses. I can't sit in silence. How can I justify sitting and not doing this? How does that work? Because, like, you got to realize it's not easy to show up here every night five days a week minimum. I used to do it seven days a week for many years. Kind of sorry I stopped, but uh, it's it's hard, right? You got I'm not getting younger. I might be, actually. Who knows? Nuclear radiation is the most carcinogenic thing that exists. So the people that censor me are doing it so they can get their paycheck on Friday. Imagine how pathetic that actually is. Can you imagine how pathetic you are to do this to censor someone like me for a paycheck? Can you, can you re like seriously? I don't mind because if they're censoring me, that means they're not home raping their children and their pets. I'm cheating the night I'm using I'm using the thermos to try to keep my water cold. And we had a good day today. Great day today, I should say. We got the site is paid for. And that was I incurred a penalty apparently because there uh, I thought we had a fifteen day grace period because I was past due date. So an extra fifty dollars. So it was a hundred, uh, four hundred and twenty, four hundred and twenty-nine dollars. And then uh, James Lucid donated three hundred and eight dollars last night. So we done the registration on the trailers, boat trailers, and the boat uh, and the truck. Is was three hundred and sixteen dollars, or three hundred and twenty-six dollars rather. So that's done, and then I, like an idiot, I just went for it and picked up brake shoes for the front of the truck because we done the back brakes yesterday, right? <laughs> I'm a sucker for punishment. 
I'm super happy. S just thrilled we got that out of the way. I'll feel even better once I wake up tomorrow and not I won't be in a panic when I wake up tomorrow because I've been in a panic for a couple of weeks every day trying to catch up. And plus the kidney stone and the other issues. I'm desperate for the DCA to show up. We really need to get the DCA uh, to show up. Have you seen, seen uh, Stephen Young uh, this week? Gonna have to call him and check on him. I'll give him a call in the morning and check on him, I guess, if I don't see him tonight. Hopefully he's okay. Stephen's hardcore, right? So uh, when the hardcores don't show up, you notice it. Yeah, and so that was a big deal, right? Thank you, James Lucid, again, my goodness. So now we got all the registrations done for another year. The site is paid for another year. And I got the brake shoes for the front. I'll, I'll, there was a lot of frigging around. Problem was the credit card was flagged by the company. And I couldn't remember the exact information I gave them, so I couldn't. I had to cancel. I had to take all the money off that card, go get another credit card and put the money on that and then pay for the site and the time I got that accomplished was like 5.30 at night and the time right now is 10.54 so that was a huge amazing day right to get all the registration <laughs> almost at the end of the month too you know and then get the site up because we're behind on that that's, that's a big deal folks we should Everybody should be just super happy about that. They really should. That's a big deal. That means we're good to go for another year of hardcore ground and pounding on the nuclear industry. Gotta like it. <laughs> Took a huge amount of stress off my shoulders on top of that. Like, that's not even... That, that don't really do it justice. It wiped a huge amount of stress out of my life. Six and ten Fukushima children tested of diabetes. You'll see that headline for Britain soon. Six and ten British children have diabetes. Just a matter of a, a year or two. Because Japan's so evil, man. It's hard to wrap your mind around how evil, if you're not familiar with this subject. Inhaling or eating British food, the radiation exposure now will be a factor of a trillion more because it's inside the children's bodies and the nuclear industry's children and their wives, their friends, their families, their husbands, their grandparents, their nephews too. Nobody's safe from these crazy idiots. Nuclear industry is, it's an idiot machine. These people are, there's no other way to describe it. They're actually idiots. They'll take down every species on the planet so they can get their checks on Friday. Irreversible heart damage for children with 50 becquels a kilogram of gamma. They don't even acknowledge alpha, betas, and neutrons. They don't even acknowledge it. Here's a scary headline for you. Instead of evacuating children from a nuclear wasteland, they gave them uh, Geiger or radiation meters they can't count. It has to be sent to a university. They're, they're lab rats. The pregnant women and children. There's something like 70,000 of them. So now it just shows you this incredible contempt for themselves and everybody else. Now I, I got a light right on the desk in front of me and it still don't stop shading. I don't know what what that is. Well now I now I got all the, the big monkey off my back. I can start trying to sort it out hopefully. I apologize for my shitty light work. Never claimed to be a light man. Normally there's five people who works the equipment that I got. Won't be long before you see this headline in Britain 35.8% of British children have thyroid tumors. Just a matter of time now. 
13,000 in Japan in 2012. Uh, the previous was one to two per million. One year after Fukushima consumption, 13,646 out of 40,000. It's equal to 358,000 out of a million children when you scale it up with tumors, small tumors, that eventually manifest into big tumors and metastasize into cancer everywhere. Yeah, they don't need abortions in Japan. <laughs> well said. This is the definition of evil. Pretending you check in rice for radiation and shipping it to victims who don't know any better. Who don't know evil people have just poisoned them. So... Officials sharply raised radiation levels for residents to get iodine pills after the nuclear meltdown. 75 times higher than the crazies recommended for children. So why would you do something like that? For a paycheck. What kind of sadistic, soulless, spineless idiot would do something like that? Uh, they, they get a job censoring me on Google, right? On YouTube. Same people. They know the personality. They, they know they're very weak and that they're so self-centered, egotistic, that that's the perfect job for them, right? Nursery school takes field trips so kids can play in areas with less radioactivity. So rather than move the children out of the nuclear wasteland, they take field trips so the kids can play in areas with less radiation. Like this is not something you would imagine pre-Fukushima on your own. Is now the norm. The blue bla the blue bags are typically sewage bags because the sewage is so radioactive you can't get rid of it. Strontium-90 found 245 kilometers from the meltdown of Yokohama City. It's 150 times background. 245 kilometers. They're talking about bone seeker, strontium-90. It's a nasty one. So if you find a strontium-90, you're going to find all the other fission products too. All right, so there's a lot of people out there believe the lies, and here's one of them. So, mama, don't let your children grow up to be this guy. That's the definition of stupid right there. You literally got to be stupid to think that standing by bags of radiation is... Um, well, there's people out there that gets their picture taken by sharks, I suppose, when they're swimming with sharks. Uh, there's increasing number of horrified parents in Tokyo as young children enjoy radioactive atom accused of being monster parents if they're worried about the radiation in a nuclear wasteland. So you don't you can't clean up radiation with a broom. All right, okay. This is not rocket science and uh, paper suits. It's got to be one of the stupidest pictures I've ever saw until you see the next one, I guess. But This is a ghost town going around with a broom sweeping up radiation. And bless their hearts, these are victims of society, right? Just working in that environment, you're going to get sick for the rest of your life. Two hundred and thirty thousand becquels per square meter of cesium on an athlete's field. Let me get I gotta get rid of that one. That was where's my clickety click to? Let me put my clickety click. Wow, that 
That didn't work. There you go, now it's kind of working. Let me try this. Try that again. Hi, everybody. Taxi driver talking about Fukushima ghost. Scary, isn't it? That's a funny one, though. This shit. Taxi drivers picking up Fukushima ghosts. Because that's what these people are, unfortunately. So we still only got 21 people on the show. I've never seen that before. We only got 32 votes. Never seen that before. We only got 30 likes at this stage of the video. I've never seen that before. It does show you how crazy, desperate the nuclear industry actually is. Because that's desperation, right, when you censor it. Because uh, I'm really, I don't have a big, they took down my site with 24,000 subscribers last year when we were out looking for spiders in the forest, uh, camping out. We were reporting on it, how the spiders were missing, the bees were missing, wasps were missing, the ants were missing, the birds were missing. There was no fish jumping in hundreds and hundreds of freshwater ponds. There was, uh, we we're right in the center of the world's biggest migratory of saltwater birds. Around 45 million birds come past my door each year. Not anymore because of Fukushima. Even though they claim the birds are still there, we can't find them. And when we do it, they usually got half their head as a tumor. Radioactive iodine found in Tokyo's tap water, which means your pipes are all radioactive. Your your water filtration is radioactive. Swiss Embassy evacuates Tokyo, two hundred and twenty kilometers away, because they're gullible and naive. No. France said Japan has lost the con control of French to leave the country, not just Fukushima, but the country. Which is really surprising because Japan's or France's legacy is so evil when it comes to nuclear. Japanese government withheld a radiation forecast to prevent causing panic. So why do you have a hundred sirens around nuclear power plants? You don't have them around coal plants. You don't have them around oil plants. You don't have them around gas plants. So you withheld the forecast that you paid for. You paid for that organization to produce the forecast so you can protect the population. And then the people you gave the job to said, screw you. You gave them the money, the authority, the equipment. And when you finally had an event, they turned their backs on you. Radiation forecast withheld by the government. Releasing would cause unnecessary panic. Ministry decided such data would be unavailable due to loss of power. They were afraid that the mayors and that were afraid that if you abandoned their city, they wouldn't have a job. So they decided to keep you there. If anybody ever deserves an ice pick in the top of their head, is that good? So you don't measure microceivers this far away. You measure the atomic decays, Beckwells, like my Geiger counter up there. You measure it in atomic decays. 200 times the normal level. Because like, you don't breed microceivers. Microceivers is something you would measure from fuel rods, like gamma shines or x-rays or neutron, right? Uh, if you're getting 18.9 microceivers, the microceivers are caused by gammas and alphas and neutrons and betas pulsing energy every second. And because they don't, um, they don't work together. They don't work together. So these atoms, they will different. They're different atoms. They're gammas, alphas, neutrons, and betas. There's four basically. They're pulsing energy in every direction, almost at the speed of light. And so alphas, betas, neutrons, and gammas, when their energy hits each other, they change direction and they create an X-ray. So the microceiver is what the X-ray is reading. Mm. 
So it's it's really bad, is what I'm saying. When you when you're re, when you're recording X-rays with microsieverts, and they do that a lot though. They use microsieverts to confuse people and mis mislead people and deceive people. Tokyo sample has radioactive uh, levels higher than Chernobyl. It's a very very high level of contamination at Tokyo. Radiation forecast can by no means be released to the public. Uh, this, this was March the 15th when Reactor 3 blew up. Should a radioactive cloud could spread over Tokyo? Could. Could. The radioactive clouds covered the planet. This model was the 20th, I think. Hang on. The 26th. So 15 days. And so once you let the model run for another few days, how's the poll doing? 33 votes, 94%. 22 people on the show. We've never seen it that bad before. They're terrified of facts. That's one thing about the nuclear industry. Tokyo drinking water is unsafe for infants. If it's unsafe for infants, it's unsafe for everybody. And that means it's permanent. The only way to describe the industry is cowards, stupid, and evil. You can't have just one of those. It has to be all three of those attributes. And many, many more sadistic is another one. 600 kilometers of Saka, high levels of gamma. Well, you can't have high levels of gamma without high levels of beta and alpha and neutrons also. More and more people living in highly contaminated places are dying of heart disease because of Cesium. Well, it's not just cesium is going to sequester in the heart. Iodine will also sequester in the heart. Just Well, any gamma will do it. Irreversible heart damage for children with 50 beckles a kilogram. So United Kingdom is going the very best way of destroying their country in, in just the next couple of years. And, and like In all honesty, Boris... His job is just to shake hands. He's not a decision maker. He's just doing whatever the nuclear industry tells him. Right? That's their job. There'll be another puppet there in a couple of years doing the same thing. And that'll, that cycle will never end. The endless cycle of idiots. Fukushima Medical Care Provider, the hospital president says people will be healthier after radiation exposure from triple meltdowns. Of course, it just it defies logic that these people are humans. It completely defies logic that these people have any attributes of a human, doesn't it? I don't understand why they're so evil. I can't wrap my mind around the evilness part. Why do they hate us so much? Why do they hate the species so much they're exterminating them? And like the evidence, like where they censor someone like myself, is the pettiness of them too, right? Just pettiness where they they feel threatened by anybody that's honest is, is a threat to them. they feel threatened they will have no friends whatsoever these types of people well they might have their own type right serial killers just like themselves so they're going to get food from a nuclear wasteland starting tomorrow well, that's not very reassuring. Uh, the sad part is there's no reason to be this evil for a paycheck. 
Most of these people have incredible amount of degrees. They can easily get a real job. And so you, sometimes you wonder if this is a, we have we been invaded by another species from outer space and they're taking over the planet and decided to exterminate us with radioactive material. That would make that would make sense. It doesn't make sense that the industry is just stupid and allowed it to happen. That doesn't make sense, see? Let me see what I got here. Then he says stupid like nuclear, unfortunately. Top nuclear official, Japan in desperate, seemingly endless battle with radiation. Seemingly infinite damage to the daily life of residents. 30,000 square kilometers in Japan is blanketed by just gamma. That's where all the farms are too, they're talking about. Here's a fun one. Radioactive substances from Fukushima belongs to landowners, not us. Make up your own dirty bombs and sell them to Al-Qaeda. Japanese radiation expert, my results shows contamination is spread across the entire country. Now, come on, nuclear industry. You know that that story came out today, I was going to cover it. You know I'm not going to let that slide. And so a couple of morons on YouTube, the lobbyists working for YouTube, finally got something to do. And this is censor Dana. For God's sake, censor him. He's honest. Uh, the truth is coming out 72,000 times worse than Hiroshima. Of course, this is absurdness. It's infinitely worse than that. To claim there's only going to be a million cancer, cancer, the minute you hear him only use the word cancer instead of 1,800 other illnesses, you, 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 you have, this is an in, incontestably small number, is a million. It's an absurdly small number. They have almost a million extra cancers just by 2012, and not everybody has health care. Japan must be the only place in the world with several million becquels of radioactive isotopes in urban areas. School routes are poisoned. All of Japan is contaminated, said Gunderson, scumbag Gunderson. 20,000 square kilometers will be evacuated if Japan followed laws on illegal radioactive waste, 20 times larger than no go zones. 8,000 kilometers of Japan contaminated at cesium. Again, you hear this word cesium. As if uranium, plutonium, and americium, neptunium, and strontium didn't exist. Yellowish radioactive substances uh, near Tokyo on the roofs. They're talking about five to ten thousand becquels a kilogram in urban areas with this. Um, so, Tokyo Vice Governor suggested a Fukushima draft. You probably should have done it when you think back on it. But you should just use up all the nuclear students first because they're the worst of the worst of humans on this planet as a nuclear student. There's really nothing more loathsome than a nuclear student. These are the scum of the scum. Uh, the Taiwan used 2,000 nuclear students to spam the Internet with propaganda about radiation for over two years straight. It came out a few years ago. Fukushima governor suggested a Fukushima nuclear meltdown draft. TEPCO's worked uh, vigilantly to sh 
close out scrutiny of the ravaged plants conditions. Japan's government is funding a project to monitor online info about Fukushima, around the clock monitoring of people like me and you. 12 million yen to censor Twitter when they were burning radioactive debris in other communities. It's $54,000 or something just to take down my account and a few other people who were talking about it on Twitter. Intelligent agencies. So the word intelligent doesn't go with this story. Pressured researchers withhold information on the spread of radioactive fallout. So that's not an intelligent agency. That's a bunch of thugs. That's criminals. Japan considered moving the capital away from Tokyo, but you're gonna, Britain's going to feed you food from the nuclear meltdown ground zero. They're dumping radioactive waste into Tokyo Bay because there's so much. Tokyo is so radioactive. Fatal radiation levels found at Fukushima exceeds 10 sieverts per hour. That's what the max the devices can measure, right? Three sieverts is a lethal dose. You'll die within the next couple of weeks from that exposure. Ignore this one. This is not a true story. It's much worse than that. Mystery black stuff substances. Uh, a million beckles a kilogram all over Minamasoma. Japan government appears plan to flee Tokyo, ABC News. There's all kinds of media reported on that. Large amount of radiation fell on Tokyo. Fukushima government is dumping tons of radioactive mud from decontamination into the rivers at night. So the definition of stupid is the nuclear industry, yeah? Firewood's too radioactive to be burning it. 30 million tons of nuclear waste in Fukushima alone. High levels of radioactive material, a thousand kilometers from Fukushima. But Boris Johnson has lifted all restrictions on food from a nuclear wasteland to go into your supermarkets and poison you. What a proud day this is. What a wonderful day this is for the nuclear industry. They must be so proud. So instead of doing something good, all they do is give us evil. And you have a thousand public relation firms to attack anybody who objects. And so you got to have a real thick skin to do what I'm doing. You really do. You got to, because I've been on your siege for over a decade straight. 900 kilometers from Fukushima, west of Hiroshima. Highly contaminated. And 600 kilometers in Osaka, high levels of cesium. You can't have high levels of cesium with high levels of gammas, alphas, neutrons, and betas, and x-rays. If you've got a high level of anything, you're going to have x-rays too. Hot spots are spreading 460 kilometers from the meltdowns. So eating food from ground zero is the definition of murder. That's murder. Hot particles 400 kilometers f uh, from Fukushima at 40 billion becquels a kilogram inside of the road. They're shipping, they're grinding up nuclear waste, bringing it to other prefectures, communities with incinerators, and burning it. I don't understand. See, I'm, there's a few parts of the riddle that I, I don't know what's, I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand how people can be this evil, right, because I have, and, and still coordinated like we see right and there's so many of them they're like a plague eh the nuclear industry is truly a plague the people in it are truly heartless they don't seem to have any common sense 
<clears throat> they desperately need a few whistleblowers, you know. Instead, the inbreeding produced so many inbreeds over 75, 80 years that the current generation, the nuclear, where the inbreeds, the inbreeds, the inbreeds, the nuclear industry, and they have zero brain power. And they're ruthlessly murderous type individuals, particularly the women, I noticed. Oh, that's so good. Three hundred times more radiation released into the atmosphere from burning debris. So it's never safe to grow food in Japan anywhere because they're doing this stuff. I hate Ernie Gunnison with so much passion. It's hard to, not because I'm a bad person, but because he's so evil. What did he done? Strontium found in 2,200 locations. Jeez, that sounds like a great place to grow food and ship it to Britain, Dana. So the radiation dose is 132 was 10 times higher than 131. Uh, iodine 133 was 30 times higher than 131. And iodine 129 was 31 times higher than the iodine 131. And uh, 132, 133 are nine times more effective at ionizing the radiating the thyroid gland than the incredibly effective iodine 131. That's pretty reassuring. Over 30,000 Beckwells a square meter in Nagano, 250 kilometers from the meltdown. But but uh, Britain is going to take food from ground zero. I'm not going to. It's taking food. Several years ago, they lifted restrictions on baby food. Try wrapping your mind around that one. Try wrapping your mind around the people. Say, well, we can get baby food shipped in. Let's do it. That's British nuclear industry. You tell me that's normal. You tell me that that that's not work that that not work going to war against. The whole planet should be going to war against the nuclear industry. The whole planet, on the drop of a hat, should go out and buy every baseball bat on the planet at the same day and go out and exterminate the nuclear industry. It's uh, you or them. They're already exterminated most of the species. I suspect that's what we'll see in the near future, is the whole planet is going to turn on a nuclear industry, which is why they would censor someone like me, is because I recognize that that is the only solution, unfortunately. High levels of strontium-90, 250 kilometers from the meltdown, and strontium 90, 245 kilometers from the meltdown, 150 times background. Newly released uh, Nuclear Regulatory, Non Regulatory Commission's email reveal radioactive technetium 99 detected outside the Fukushima plant. Really? Is somebody surprised? 240 kilometers from the meltdown. One of the three principal radionuclides identified. They, they do. They got a tendency to look for the technetium 99 after events. Government session reveals 400,000 times as normal radioactive xenon 133 in Chiba, which is right by Tokyo. These are catastrophic numbers. 200 kilometers from the meltdown. And you're going to eat the food grown in the local area because Boris Johnson shook hands with a moron. Because one person made the decision. Which was the nuclear industry, really, right? Done that. Boris just shook hands and signed the paper and the media told the story, you see? That is controlled by the industry itself. 230,000 beckles per square meter of cesium and koto, six times as high as the limit set for radiation control zones in Tokyo. These are catastrophic numbers. Radioactive black substances, which is a fungi that aggregates radiation in huge numbers, 230 kilometers from the multiple nuclear meltdowns. It seems to be everywhere. Absorbed radiation dose 132 was 10 times higher than 131 in northern Japan. We just covered that. 
Writers obtained a secret Tokyo evacuation scenario. Fukushima reactors fail as the fuel rods melt, mix with the concrete, and fall into the building. No, they, they detonated, and the building went flying. Nursery school with kids rolling in dirt and tasting it in Tokyo. Japanese government industrial complex creates small Japan in southern India so they can get a break from the radiation. Japan unveils a plan to develop a massive government backup city 300 miles west of Tokyo with room for 200 slaves. And you're going to eat food from the nuclear wasteland in true Britain. I'm just, I'm heartbroken for Britain today. Japan Prime Minister to study setting up alternative capital away from Tokyo. Japan Prime Minister. So it's, these are many different dates from many different medias. And so do you think all of them were wrong, that they made a mistake? No. So eating the food from a nuclear wasteland is a bad idea. It can, and you're bioaccumulating it all day, every day, for every meal. So they're exterminating you now. Time is near. You don't have a long time left on this planet. Cesium, again, when you hear the word just cesium, you're, like I, I, it drives me insane. It, every time I say the word cesium, it drives me insane. Because there's a thousand other fission products we're supposed to be talking about. So claiming uh, gamma is the only emissions. This is the brainwashing of the industry. I have to remind you every time I say it, because otherwise I'll do their job for them, right? 18 million becquels a square meter in Tokyo and in, in the soil. These are absurd numbers. Krypton 85 over Tokyo after the mixed oxide fuel exploded on March the 15th, 14th. Hello viewers, Lucas here. Sorry about that, I wasn't expecting that. Contamination Tokyo suburbs three times higher than area one mile from the Fukushima Daiichi. Significant contamination in Tokyo is a serious problem, says nuclear scientists. 50,000 becquels a kilogram of radioactive cesium, so it's going to be pounded with uranium, plutonium, and americium, neptunium, and strontium, and curium, and all the other isotopes. Terrifying, the sample was from the side of the street where children walk every day. Uh, radioactive dust in Tokyo at 4,000 becquels a kilogram of cesium. Contamination never disappears. My heart goes out to uh, Japan, the victims. Uh, I want revenge, though. I want revenge. We can't save the planet or the species, so we should go to war against the nuclear industry, shouldn't we? Against... Well, we shouldn't even call it the coward the nuclear industry. Well, we should, I guess. We, got to, we should put the word coward in front of that whenever we say the word nuclear. It should be nuclear coward industry. Nuclear chicken shit industry. Nuclear scumbag industry. Nuclear degenerate industry. The creepy nuclear industry. The coward, spineless, soulless, heartless idiot nuclear industry who's now spamming me stop spamming me you scumbags should uk keep a ban on radioactive food from fukushima nuclear wasteland for a million years 89 percent now 11 percent says no why would you say no you can call in 709-589-4406 709-589-4406. Give me a call to the people that says no. I want to hear why you said no. 
Stop being a coward and call my number, scumbags. Well, you get the low numbers when you haven't got the video up. Hopefully that... So now they're, sh they're screwing with my stream early. Hi, everybody. Um, no matter what I do, the bloody freaking lights is just torture. I got to try to fix that tomorrow, Dana. Yeah, but I had a busy day, a great day today to get things out of the way accomplished. And f almost at supper time when I finally come to a stop. And people in Tokyo, radiation is everywhere on all surfaces. Neutron ray measured in Tokyo, uranium-235, which is a fission found in Chiba and can't be detected by your Geiger counters. Neutron beam observed 13 times. Kyoto confirms 40,000 microceivers and now we're at a Topio supermarket because the food is so radioactive. That, that's, you'll see that in Britain soon. That's just terrifying. Doctor finds uranium zirconi in Tokyo residents' fingernails. We are becoming nuclear fuel rods. The government said nothing to fear. Then came the test results. 1.5 million Beckwells square meter in their church. Tokyo aerial soil. 919,000 Beckwells a square meter. And so people are going, in the United Kingdom are going to be eating food from ground zero. It's going to be infinitely worse than that. It's just really something, you know. Three hundred thousand Beckles a square meter radioactive iodine in areas near Tokyo before the end of March. Only includes the iodine one thirty one. Tokyo's drinking water is contaminated. The world world's largest drinking water reservoir of its kind, built to supply thirty six million people. 276,000 becquels a kilogram of radioactive cesium in soil samples near Tokyo. 18 million becquels a square meter. Again, these are horrific numbers we're talking about. These are horrific numbers. We got pounded tonight on the censorship, eh? No big surprise there. Seventy percent of Japan's territory is polluted. That's it's a hundred percent though, unfortunately, see. Finding the truth is I would say if like if you board if you waterboard Geraldine Thomas or something like that a few times, she'll tell you the truth at that stage. See, I'm evil. The nuclear industry made me do it. Um, I guess that's it for tonight. Air samples in Tokyo at 270. It means the farmland around Fukushima is, is insane. 
So when you look at Britain, their, their nuclear plants are surrounded by farms. They hate the people of Britain, or you wouldn't do that, see? There's no reason to do that unless you hate everybody in the country. There's no reason to grow food by one-ton bags of nuclear waste. There really isn't no, there's no acceptable reason to do it. It's the definition of evil. And Britain's, both of Britain's future nuclear power plants they're hoping to build, 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 no, build, they didn't say it, build, are going to be surrounded by farms. So if that doesn't scare the living shit out of you, you're not, you don't get scared easy, I guess. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it's okay. But under so much stress for the last month or two. A kidney stone didn't help much, and then a big mass in one of my kidneys doesn't help. But the war has to go on, right? We can't take time off just because you're dying or sick or something. You can't be a baby. Just because you're sick to your guts, you still got to come out, curb stomp the nuclear industry, data. It's true, that's, that, that is how I see it, right? If I don't come out and curb stomp the nuclear industry, all those people who censure me won't get a paycheck on Friday, ain't it? That's real logic right there. Uh, Chet was in the comments earlier, as usual, before the show starts. And uh, Chet, you know, if you put your comment there too early, by the time the show starts, it'll disappear. It'll st I'll still have it on the inside, typically, but usually within two or three hours, Google removes any comments pre in the preamble. Port Angeles, James Lucid again. James, big thank you and hugs, my friend. Anonymous, Dana Nasana. Albert, peace, we're... Good night, everybody. Colette, S, hi, Colette. It's good to see you. Because Colette usually just sits back and listens or watches, right? So it's always nice to see you once in a while join in. And we done uh, good. We got all the big expenses covered now. The site is paid for. The... Um, all the vehicles, the trailers, and the boats, everything is registered. Um, we got the DCA is, is uh, almost, will be here by uh, the latest, hopefully the 6th. We know it left Montreal a couple of days ago, that's halfway across Canada. So it's, it's in Canada, it's through customs, obviously, and it's on its way. We got back brakes on the truck yesterday, I got front brakes. I'll get them on tomorrow. I don't, even if it rains, I'll get them on. Because that's another piece of the puzzle, right? Peace wear. Good night, everybody. We got censored pretty heavy tonight. Well, that's incredible censorship tonight. There's a coward uh, censorship tonight. Steve White. Oh, my. Just scrolling down. Kevin Blanche was here earlier. Jerry Goldstein. John Curtis. Gabriel Tree Wolf. Good night, everybody. And a thinker. Thank you, everyone, for having the courage to show up. I know it's not easy. It's a terrible subject. It's unfortunately the most important story in human history, period, with no exceptions. Adam the Mushroom. Hi, Adam. 
and uh, super, just super thrilled. We got a huge amount accomplished in the last week in particular of expenses. And so that's a, a significant amount of stress off me. And it ensures we're good to go for another year hardcore. I know I don't know if we'll get any research in this year. <clears throat> That's terrifying to me. We got an extinction event playing out. I'm gonna have to make an effort. Now we haven't an interesting thing was we haven't I haven't had we had two major uh kidney stone attacks. That took me, that, the first one, I didn't know what the hell was going on, thought I was dying. The second one, finally, got all the restrictions were lifted here, so I got into a hospital, got a diagnosis. At least now I know what I'm up against. <coughs> and if it wasn't for the kidney stone, I wouldn't have known I needed a big bottle of a DCA. <laughs> That's so pathetic. <coughs> Uh, that was obviously a warning for me to wake up then and get get in second gear, and we did. And uh, I'm extremely privileged. Feel extremely privileged to to get this far. Patrick, uh, try not to miss anybody. We're gonna come back over to the pole in a second. Close the pole down, and we'll call it a night. I'm going to come in right away, actually, and close down the pole. Yeah, I hope I get the DCA soon, too. Let's come in and close the pole here with everybody. We got spammed on our pole tonight. We only got 21 people on the show, which is un completely bizarre. We only got 40 votes, which is incredibly bizarre. We only got 37 likes, which is an unbelievably bizarre low numbers. Should the UK keep a ban on deadly mass murdering radioactive evil food from Japan's Fukushima nuclear wasteland for a million years? And 90% were the good guys, and they said, yes, of course. But, I mean, really, that's how long. And grown food by nuclear power plants? You evil, disgusting, destructive cowards. You're just incredible cowards to do that. You despicable cowards. I disrespect you for doing that. You evil, disgusting parasites grown food at a nuclear wasteland. Thank you, everybody. Hugs for everybody. Extra hugs for James Lucid. Bless you, man. That's a big deal. It's a huge deal. We got all these issues solved. Just, what, what am I supposed to say? It's a very humbling doing the things I'm doing as it is. It's even more so now. And uh, I couldn't be happier. I really couldn't. And so we're good to go for another year. Come out and ground and pound scumbag degenerate nuclear industry. I can't wait. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. Hopefully they don't uh, censor us too much tomorrow night. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. Still got to do the show. Right, still got to do the show. God bless everybody. Hugs for everybody. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. Have a great night, great day tomorrow. We'll be here tomorrow night, kicking and screaming, cursing and kicking the nuclear industry in the guts. Take care, folks. We'll see everybody soon.
Yeah. Yeah. Good night, folks. Such an awesome day today. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Take care.